Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Big congrats to Rafa Nadal for 22 Grand Slams, 14th French Open, completely insane feat. But this video is more about what racket he used during the French Open because it was a slightly, slightly tweaked one compared to the one he used in the Australian Open. So let me explain for you who are maybe new to pro player rackets, they very rarely play with what they advertise, what they endorse. The racket they get every two years as an update to sell more retail rackets is just their old racket painted to look like a new one. That's generally the case, not 100%, but generally the case. For example, we have Alcaraz and Rune, they use the new Pure Arrow VS. So in that case, they actually play with what you can buy in the store pretty much. But in Rafa's case, it's very, very different. And I see sources, you know, on TV, all over, online where they say, oh, Rafa uses a light racket. And they refer to this one, the retail version of the Pure Aero Rafa. It's due an update this year, so look out for that. I'm gonna review that one too. But this one is 300 grams, unstrung, of course. Has a pretty low swing weight, easy to use. Great frame for players who are looking for spin and power. But it's not what Rafa uses. And uh, he uses a far heavier racket, customized to his liking. And it's actually, this one, the original, I mean, many of you know this by now, but it's worth repeating for the new audience of Tennis Nerd, but it's the Aero Pro Drive original. And he's using a lot of weight added to this frame. And swing weight is one of the most important metrics. And if we talk about swing weight, this would be around 320 in swing weight, which is a good frame for intermediate to advanced players. But for many pros, it's a bit too light. And in reality, he's using a 358 0.5. I've actually measured his personal frame swing weight. But what happened for the Australian Open was that he changed his string gauge from the 135 RPM blast. This guy hits with massive spin, breaks a lot of strings. He went down to 130 gauge RPM blast, tried to get a bit more on the ball, but he also added weight. So this is the new information that he's actually said himself in an interview with Marka. And uh, he said that he had added some weight had changed the string to get more pop on the ball. And you could see in the Australian Open, he was playing more aggressively. He got more, made, maybe made a few more errors. But for the French Open, he felt like he lacked control. So he wanted to have his old spec back. So it's still the Aero Pro Drive original, but back to his old customized spec. So they removed some weight, they went back to the old string. And that's small tweaks that players can do. We've seen Tsitsipas change his string setup from 4G to all the power and gut, then to 4G and gut, then back to 4G, then now 4G and gut again. Elbow issues, getting more power. A lot of pros have doubts about their frames. I do get some uh, questions from ATP pros about rackets and strings and setups. I'm trying my best to help. Uh, when they're pros, it's a bit easier because I can get video and see what they do and, and what they need. But for recreational players, I always you know, recommend a video uh, when I do consultations. The consultation service have been out of order because I don't have time. Uh, I will put it back because I get so many emails and messages and it's very, very difficult to keep up. So if I'm not replying, I simply don't have time to reply to all the emails and messages I get. I'm sorry. Uh, if you're willing to pay a bit for the service, it's a different story, but just sending long and long emails or Instagram messages about your racket is not gonna cut it really because I don't have time. That's a, a side note. So what was Rafa's old specs for the AeroPro Drive original? Grip two, you know that he's using a small grip for his um, height and, and the stature. 17 grams of lead added. This means 12 grams to the hoop, which is a lot. So 12 grams to the hoop bumps up the swing weight massively and five grams in the handle. So he plays with a balance where it's uh, almost even balance. Carlos Moya, he uses this balance, but most players on the tour uses more, kind of a little bit more weight in the handle usually, a bit more headlight, four or five points. Uh, but Rafa uses 33.5 centimeter balance, meaning it's two points headlight, and he strings it with RPM blast, as I said, 1.35 gauge. So back to the old string, get more control for the French Open, uh, feel like he could swing out more on the clay where he feels at home. I think he also feels at home with the setup, so it makes sense. The strong weight of this racket is 339.7 grams, so close to 340, including everything. I think he's sometimes tried adding a bit more, then removed it and tweaked it all over, over the years. Same uh, that Dominic Team has, for example, 
tweaking a little bit, adding weight, seeing if they can use it. If they feel like they get too much power, they go back. They might try different tensions, obviously. There are things you can do if you have your setup just to tweak. And I talk about that in many other videos. I won't mention it here. But Rafa, for the Australian Open and for the 2022 season in general, has played with a slightly heavier racket with a bit more weight in the head. Don't know how much. Could be one, could be two, could be three grams. So a higher swing weight for more power. And he's used a slightly thinner gauge string, 1.30 RPM blast. Now, for the French Open, he's, he was back to 1.35 and removed some of the weight. So back to the weight I, and the swing weight I talked about, which is still very high and not really recommended for any rec players. These are beasts, monsters, pros, goats, whatever you want to call it. And they play a different level of tennis than most of us uh, others do. So um, what the specs they use is fun to know, but really nothing to to help us on our way to a good specification. We just have to experiment a bit and see where we land and end up. Thanks to Mario who sent me the information from the Spanish newspapers. That's Rafa's racket, back to the old spec. He's not gonna play Wimbledon it seems like. Some people talked about retirement, some news outlets talked about retirement. That did not happen thankfully. He's still in the game. I think this kind of got him uh, more inspired to go for more. But no Wimbledon, maybe we'll see him back for the US Open. For sure, I think 2023 he's going to play. Could be his last season. Who knows with this guy. He keep playing till, till he's 80, still winning French Opens. I would personally like to see also some new champions, new Grand Slam champions on the tour. Alcaraz, Rune, there's some exciting players coming up. We'll see if they can make it happen now, Wimbledon, US Open. Who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments below. A big thanks to the sponsor of this video, the Singles Playbook from Fossi Yellow Balls. Great way to get tips and tricks on how to play certain players, serve and volleyers, baseliners, pushers, whatnot. So you have a lot of different plays and strategies here. I actually bought this one before they sponsored the podcast and I'm very happy with it. Each lesson or each play is accompanied by a video that you have. So you have kind of a login and you can use the website and then use these plays. Great way to get more tactics and strategy into your game, which will for sure help you win more matches. I used to play tennis without thinking at all, and it wasn't the best idea. So thanks for sponsoring. Also thanks to my affiliates. The links are in the description if you want to buy a racket, string or whatever, a tennis warehouse, for example. Or if you need a partner or a coach, you check out Play Your Court. 50% off with my link gives you a portal and a service that can help you find hitting partners, coaches, and whatnot in your area in the US. That is all for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.